I was born and raised in Cumberland, Maryland. My father, he worked for Hercules Aerospace. So in the 70s, he got transferred out to Salt Lake City. The four of us, um, three of us became engineers. All three of us graduated from the University of Utah. My brother, um, the oldest, uh, mechanical engineering. My sister, about a year and a half younger than him, chemical engineering. And then uh, myself, the youngest, uh, mechanical engineering. I met Gretchen in 1980. Four, I believe it was, and it was in our Strengths and Materials class with Dr. DeVries. When I did meet her, I recognized clearly that she was definitely going to help me to succeed in my goals and getting through the university. So I graduated in 1984 um, and decided to move back east. I went to work for a company called Grumman. Grumman was working as the program management for the space station program. And having been a young child and my father taking us to launches, um, I was, you know, had a dream that it would be great to work for NASA. To be able to take a very complex international program and figure out how you're going to build a spacecraft that has to stay sustainable each time the shuttle leaves it there, but yet be able to build on it and make something bigger was just an opportunity of a lifetime. My career is very diverse. I mean, it goes from government to ultimately private industry. It goes from defense programs to commercial aerospace to really industrial um, products. I can't keep up with her vapor trail. It's just too big and too fast. I've had an opportunity of a lifetime, and being a woman, um, you do have to have confidence. I'd like to thank the University of Utah Alumni Association and Dean Brown for what a wonderful recognition and award. I'm both honored yet humbled. My accomplishments are a result of many great teams, and I've also had the support of a great family, a very competitive family, including my husband. But when you put that on top of a strong foundation of education from the University of Utah and many professors and teachers that I had that, that pushed math and science and the need to be able to think about solving problems, I can't thank you enough. It's been rewarding. It's been uh, a dream come true. Again, I'd like to thank the Alumni Association um, for this award. And I'd also like to say congratulations to the other distinguished award winners here tonight. Thank you.